Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, Realtor, Listing Guru of California, Market Center Technologist and Real Estate School Instructor. Today I wanna to talk about subdomains in just a minute. Okay, and good morning. Um, man, I've been playing with this app and everything, and um, I thought this was going to be a really fun little tutorial about how to create a really simple um, forwarding URL that's easy to remember. Um, uh, one of the ways that you can do this is go down here into your consumer tab, um, formerly the sites tab, um, go into your site and app settings, and this is going to bring all of your um, information here. And look, even since the last time I was here yesterday, this has changed. Um, so here's your general site page information, and then here's, this is new right here. So download app hero text. So let's go ahead and add that now here. I have 50 characters, let's use them. Download the best real estate search app. So look at that, right there. So now on uh, the hero page, it's going to say download the best real estate search app here. So that's great. It wasn't what we were here for, but we're going to figure it out. So let's see. Uh, URLs, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Um, so my text app code, and it looks like maybe eventually we're going to be able to update this, um, maybe even um, create something. I mean, who's going to remember KW2BQMTMF? Like, really nobody. But this app URL right here is really handy. So I'm going to copy that. And then I don't know if everybody has um, their own domain. Most people, I feel like, do have their own domain. Um, I use Google as my domain provider. It's a um, pretty simple way to um, purchase domains. So uh, let's see. I'm going to manage my domain, which is currently it's listingguruca.com, and then that way it matches up with my .kw.com and everything else. So if you go over here to your DNS settings, um, and if you use GoDaddy, if you use anything other than Google domains, you're going to have these same settings, but you're going to have to figure out where they are kept. Um, typically, under manage, and then you look for the DNS settings. And then under your DNS settings, you can look for these synthetic records. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subdomain. So my subdomain is going to be app.listingguru.com. And then the destination URL here is going to be my, my application um, URL. Because I'm not going to remember app.kw.com.kwb2, all that good stuff. I'm not going to remember it. I'm going to make this a permanent redirect so that it always, app.listingguru.com always will go to um, my uh, app you know, URL. I'm not going to forward a path because there's not going to be any path needed. And I'm going to enable SSL. So I'm going to add it. Now it's going to probably give me an error. Yeah. Um, because the SSL certificate for this domain hasn't been created yet, so it but it will take effect. It says save changes have saved and they will take effect in the next 48 hours. So so that's that. So let me see now if I can get this to work. I know it says it would take up to 48 hours. App.listingguru.com. There we go. And then it takes me right to my website. And then here's the download on App Store or Google Play. Or it says you can text KW2877 whatever, or enter your mobile number. I'm going to go ahead and send a link of that to myself. And then I'm going to look here. Let's see, that's been submitted. Okay, so I got the text message that says click here to download Keller Williams. So I am going to click on the link. And then it's going to open up the App Store. And then it takes me directly to... The Keller Williams buy sell uh, real estate app, and already after one day, there's already an update, so that's fantastic. Um, and I'm going to open it up and start searching. That's it. It's got everything saved here for me. It's got um, oops, not my account. It's got a load. It's got a little message here that says loading. trying to see where it says my there you go your agent is Brian Collins my agent profile contact my agent change my agent or remove my agent so there's lots of different options there and then it has all of my information 
already on the app. Um, it's very easy. And this is a way that now I don't have to remember what my app URL is. I don't have to try and do anything other than say app.kw or app dot, you know, listingguruca.com. That's it. That's all I have to do. And, uh, you know, hopefully this is a little bit, um, helpful to you and, um, maybe will help alleviate some of the sharing woes that people are having. Um, I hope you guys all have a great day and, um, thanks so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.